All right, so let's start from uh, Mr. Matnamido and read uh, portions of the statement he released uh, early in the day. Now, he is questioning the integrity of investigative journalist Anas Aremiyao. Now, Matnamido said the judicial expose by Anas and his Tiger uh, IPI team has been compromised. Now, he questioned the Attorney General's decision to grant immunity to Anas and his Tiger IPI team. He described Anas as entrepreneurial government commissioned undercover agent who had collaborated with established security agencies as independent whistleblowers under the Whistleblowers Act 2006, Act 720, and contrary to the prohibition of the police service Private Security Organizations Regulations 1992 LI1571. The renowned lawyer and former AG also alleged that it was a late President Mills who recruited a nurse to collaborate with select security personnel to undertake the judicial corruption investigation. Now, that investigation subsequently exposed bribery and corruption in the judiciary with over 180 workers of the service, including 34 judges, implicated. Now, uh, the former AG went on to assert that the late President Mills commissioned a two-pronged investigation targeting the judiciary and parliament, but while the current President, John Mahama, has sanctioned the release of the results of judicial investigation to the public, he has compromised and suppressed the results involving Parliament. Let me stay on the issue because Anas has reacted. The Tiger I team has reacted to that statement. Now, uh, it says that claims by anti-corruption campaigner and former AG that his expose on corruption in the judiciary was government-sponsored is and true. That's according to Anas. Now, he is saying that claims that he, Anas and Tiger Eye, engaged in selective reporting of edited findings on the expose and suppressed investigations into other arms of government are untrue. According to Anas, it is a fact that in some of the exposés, Tiger IPI has collaborated with government agencies. The statement added that when that has happened, Tiger Eye has been clear, explicit and upfront with those facts and full public disclosures of them made. According to the release from Tiger IPI, in the case of the recent expose into judicial corruption titled Ghana in the Eyes of God, they had no collaboration. Now, we'll tell you more about that statement. You can read uh, that statement to, uh, on tv3network.com. Just go there and read portions or the full statement there, right, on tv3network.com. But uh, uh, Mas Namido wouldn't sit there. Uh, he has also reacted to uh, the release by Nas, and he says he stands by everything contained in his earlier statement on the attempt to suppress political corruption with the commissioned judicial corruption investigations. Martin Amidu went on to say, uh, he quote, he says, further proof is contained in the sequel and the tiger eye or whatever it calls itself. He be patient to read it first and then we can have full discussions or useful discussions in the interim. Now he says he's grateful for the response. The principle I'm fighting against is the use of paid private government agents in an Orwellian big brother fashion contrary to the constitution of the Republic of Ghana. Right, so I am sure you uh, followed uh, that uh, uh, release, the response, and then the counter by Martin Amidu. But let's speak to a legal mind on this particular issue. Lawyer Pong has just uh, joined me on the phone line. Lawyer Pong, grateful for your time tonight. Yes, good evening. Mm. How are you? Great. So, Let's start from here. Now, all across Ghana, people were waiting for what uh, has been seen as uh, uh, trying to unravel corruption in the judiciary. And then this bombshell is thrown by a former AG. First of all, let me pick your reaction to what has happened. 
the judicial corruption allegations that are being investigated and Martin Amidu saying that, well, this is only uh, a kind of a smoke screen and that this is arranged. What is your reaction to it? Well, thank you very much. Well, I, I'm enjoying myself. And I think that this course can only enhance the work of the two of them. Because then they realize, that is in case they may have forgotten, that whilst you are watching someone, others are also watching you. Whilst you are exposing someone, others are, may also expose you. Mm. Whilst, and it goes for, for the two of them. And I think that it can only enhance their work and our understanding that it is important to, to deal with this canker. Because otherwise, if everybody sees what you are doing right, then you are definitely doing everything wrong. That is the way I see it. That's why I was surprised that especially no journalist was seen vehemently questioning some of the things that have been done. How can, is it possible that everybody belonging to a profession to agree with what one is doing? So this is the first time, I believe, apart from the fact that some foreign part uh, media practitioners question it, that we have seen... Because if we don't do that, the work they are doing will not even be effective, mm. will not achieve the, the goal they have set for themselves. We have to challenge people in the performance of their functions so they can, always, they can only do better. So I am, I am happy that Martin Amidu has come up. Initially, we raised a few issues, but at least maybe when the heavyweights also speak, then... Everybody will wake up and then start looking at some angles, and we can only get better with this discussion. The uh, the Tiger Eye Initiative we saw videos. Now, uh, Martin Amidu is questioning uh, how the whole operation uh, was undertaken. Now, does it really matter whether it was sponsored by government or not? Well, um, on that angle, I think it may matter because if the government is the one that should be investigated and the government sponsors you to investigate another organ of state, how will it be possible that you can investigate that other organ of state, which is the executive that has sponsored you? I think they have denied that on this call, they were sponsored by the executive. But what really is quite intriguing is the fact that, if I understand Mr. Martinami do well, this thing started, or perhaps was muted during Mr. President Mills' time. Mm. And when he said they were, they appeared to be, and that is how I see it, some mistrust between the executive and the judiciary, which means that the executive and obviously around that time, the state was losing a lot of cases in court. So if that was the basis on which this investigation was to be done, then it was based on a wrong footing, mistrust. But I'm happy that Tiger Eye have come out to deny that in any case, their investigation started, is it 2013 or 2014, when the president then, President Nurse, was demised. So, but if that was it, then it would have been a very serious now, when you move on, you will see that when matters like this happen or are alleged against members of the executive, then they quickly set up a commission of inquiry, exonerate them by issuing a white paper to set aside the recommendations of the commission. At best, they will ask the people to resign and give them further positions in the cabinet or in the presidency. And we continue to pay them. They are not accountable and all that. This judicial, so-called judicial corruption allegation could have also been the subject of, uh, of a commission of inquiry. But no, when it came to them, we, they have gone through the process, which is good. So I think it's a wake-up call. As a people, we should really be on the executive to stop using this commission of inquiry and the witness to set aside commendations. If we continue like that, allowing the other, 
executive will continue to do that, this fight against corruption will be against everybody but the executive. Where we see the huge allegations against them. Now, that is why he was saying that when a judge probably took thousand cities from an individual, he is suffering all the liability. But when a person took over 51 million of state money, very little is being seen. I think that is the angle he is looking at. So whether it was started during President Minsk's time or not, the point is that we as a people should let the executive understand that we are not going to accept the use the improper use of commissions of inquiry to protect their own and embarrass their foe. Mm. That we should fight against. Uh, analysis come out to say that what uh, Mr. Amidou is alleging uh, uh, are indeed uh, not true and that he said he never uh, had any uh, sponsorship from or support from government. Now, let us look at this. Analysis done some work. Uh, of course, Ghana has seen what he has done. Now, Mr. Amidou alleges, in the court of law, you people say, he who alleges must prove. With the statement that has been issued, is it proof enough that indeed Mr. Anas received some uh, support from uh, the state? Well, I think for the record, and it may be minor, but for the record, I don't think Anas as a person has done an investigation, at least in relation to the judiciary. It is a company called Tiger IPI, so we can give credit. And we know the concept of um, corporate personality and autonomy and all that. But right. that's beside the point. But the point really here is that Mr. Martinamido has made some allegation calling, calling, and from the word that he has coined, it means that it is improper for a person to engage in such an act for profit. Because that would mean that the person who is paying you cannot be investigated by you. Mm. And we know that the Tiger IPI is a private limited liability company whose usual goal is to make profit from the work they do so they can pay themselves. So, but the danger may be who pays you because whoever pays you they be insulated, they be courting you from in investigating him. And if he happens to be the executive, which is already too powerful, then that would be quite dangerous. But I'm happy that he, they are saying that they were not in this particular case of investigating another organ of state. The executive was not involved. I heard um, his book, Dr. Kubako, say that if he has proof, he should bring it. But I may not know the details of what Mr. Majinamidi knows. Mm. I don't think he's about to soil his hard-won reputation in this regard. Perhaps he may do all of us a great favor if there is something more. But as to whether Tiger IPI are paid for the work they do, I understand they work for some named companies as well. Yeah. That, is, that is not a secret. But I would have been surprised if the executive actually sponsored them to investigate another organ of government, especially the judiciary, which has been the only institution that has withstood executive interference, and that is the supervisor of the executive. I'm happy they have come out to deny it. Perhaps Mr. Martin Amidu has something more to contradict it. The discourse can only get better. Mm. And so you won't ask him to provide the evidence uh, if he has, is alleging any, any wrongdoing? No, well, I, I, I am not in the position to ask him. I think that what has been thrown against him may, in a way, tarnish a certain reputation that he has so far, or at least part of it, that he has so far come for himself. And he only knows better than I that if there is any further evidence or perhaps after the uh, um, the response from tiger eye he may sit back even though he has said lamely in my view that he still stands by it perhaps there may be some singular aspect of it that he may say that perhaps if i had known this i wouldn't have said it so it is not just enough that he should bring the i think the tiger eye people to 
because of the potential soiling of their reputation as well, especially in this initial investigation, they may also have to rather take the bold step mm. beyond asking Mr. Martin Amidu to actually prove, not even prove, to rebut the claim that the executive may have sponsored them. And that, that is good for both Tiger Eye and Mr. Martin Amidu. Lapo, I'm grateful for your time tonight. Always grateful. Mm, and yeah. have a good night there. Lawyer Yopon is a legal practitioner there joining me uh, right on this issue. Of course, if you want to read the full statement of uh, uh, Mr. Matnamidu and then the rebuttal from Tiger Eye and then, of course, the response from, again, Matnamidu, go to tv3network.com. You can have full version of that statement to 